Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo on the L'Oreal Volume Building Mascara. And this is the original, um, like, voluminous mascara out of all those mascaras that they have. This is the original first one. picked this up at Walmart quite a while ago. It's been probably about a month. And, um... And I looked up the prices for it, and at Ulta it says it's $7.99, and at Walmart it says it's $5.84, which is where I got it, so that must have been how much I paid for it. But just reading up on it, it says that it'll volumize, thicken lashes, um, evenly and smoothly, leaving them soft with no flakes, smudges, or clumps. So, I'm just going to do a demo on it real quick, and then I will tell you my thoughts about it. I already have it applied, if you guys can see... And this eye, I will post a picture right here. So I just wanted you guys to see kind of a close-up of what it looks like. Um, this is after curling my lashes, even though this is not waterproof, so it doesn't hold the curl super good. But I'm sure there probably is a waterproof, I just don't have it. I have it in black is black, and just taking it out of the wand, this is what it looks like. It's like... A, it's not a plastic bristle one, it's just like a normal bristle one, and it's just kind of like a normal, typical brush. It's kind of like the Jordana one that everybody raves about, it kind of looks like that brush. And my biggest problem with this, I'm just going to tell you, is that it has so much excess mascara on it. Like, this tube is really, really big hole, and it like doesn't take any of the mascara off of it, like, at all. Like, when I take it out, I can hardly even hear it rubbing up against the side. So, when I use it, because I have been using it quite a bit, and that's what I did with this eye, I actually will rub off, like, all of the mascara on a baby wipe, and it works pretty decent then. It's, like, it's nothing amazing, but if it didn't have all the access on it, I would definitely repurchase this. And for the sake of this video, I'm not going to rub any off because I want to show you what it does, um, just normal. So, I curled my lashes like five minutes ago. Yeah. I'm going to do two coats. That's what I did with this, even though I did take off all the excess. And I start at the bottom and go up. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super clumpy. Like, ridiculously clumpy. Alright, I'm not going to keep going with that coat because it will just get so clumpy. Let me show you guys. So, this is... I don't know if you guys can see, like, those lashes and then these ones. The brush itself is okay. The only problem is just all of the access on it. It's ridiculous. Alright. I'm going to let this dry for a second and then do my second coat. Alright, so I let that dry and now I'm going to, or I let it dry for like a minute and now I'm going to do my second coat. And I didn't dip this back in the tube because there's no need to get more product. It's so bad. I've used this one time without wiping it off. And every other time I have because... I don't know. It's just bad. It's so clumpy. Like, do you guys see that? Look how clumpy that is. That's two coats. Alright, so that is with two coats. I have five lashes now. Alright, so as you can see, they're super, super clumpy. And um, if you do purchase this or you have it and you notice how clumpy it is too, I suggest really just taking a baby wipe and not even just blotting it, but totally rubbing like it off, like not to the point where all of it's off, but just like take it and just slide the baby wipe right down it, or paper towel or anything. It makes a huge difference. If you didn't have to do that and it did it itself, 
your lashes are pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's like the most amazing mascara when you do that, but it's pretty decent. Um, I don't notice them being hard and like crunchy. They don't flake off. They're like really flexible and it does volumize and slightly lengthens them too. And I really like it for my bottom lashes because it really helps my bottom lashes too. Um, I mean I have nothing bad to say about this once you wipe it off. But it is a real problem and it's kind of annoying. So I definitely wouldn't repurchase this just because of that reason. But it just in its description, like if you look it up, it'll say no flakes, smudges, or clumps. And it doesn't flake or smudge. Um, I'll give it that. But it definitely is really clumpy. And the formula is great. It's not too liquidy or too dry. Um, it's just they messed up in the packaging like this hole was way too big and it doesn't take any of the product off so that's the only bad thing about this guys but this mascara isn't bad I mean it's not a bad formula or anything like that but just so you know that if you do see this for like five dollars or on clearance or something just know it has it's good but you're gonna have to wipe off all the excess so if you're willing to do that then you should definitely get this mascara but besides that, it really is a great mascara, and I'm going to continue using this um, the way I did this eye, and after that I'm not going to repurchase it, just because there are a lot of really good cheap mascaras where you just have to put them on, and then you're good to go, and this one you definitely have to work with. So that's my review on the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, and hope you guys like this review, and if you do, then like it, and if you enjoy my videos, then click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.